I think one of the things that people have a tendency to find whether unnerving or at least strange about me are some of the capabilities I have that seem just slightly abnormal compared to others. Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. I know this is kind of obscure, but this is kind of just something random that came to my mind. Every now and then I'll start randomly thinking, uh, like I just was before this video. Um, when I did, I actually started thinking of the fact of what I said at the beginning of this video, like 30 seconds ago. Um, now what I mean by that though is that there are some things I am capable of doing that someone would see and or hear and they'll be like, the heck? Uh, is this guy okay? Kind of thing. Um, a good example of this, I think, is the fact that I am double-jointed. A lot of people see double-jointed people, and sometimes you'll get someone who's just like, oh, that's cool. But other times you'll get someone who's thinking, that's weird. Like, that, for example. Not many people can do that. And some people get grossed out by that just because of, like, sometimes it just seems unnervingly strange. So apologies if you felt that way. If not, then, eh, now you know I'm double jointed. I guess if you didn't know before. But there are people who get weirded out by that. Technically, I can also pull a uh, Charlie Chaplin, where the feet are pretty much going exactly 100, or, yeah, 180 degrees from the other. And to me, I find that kind of interesting, but there are people out there who look at that and go, please don't. I think that's just like a physical uh, appearance version of what I'm talking about. I think another good example uh, would be vocal. Uh, I, the best example I've got is one of my voices that I voice act with sometimes. Um... I don't know if I... I'll have to double check this. Uh, da da da. Okay. Well, back in my playthrough when I was doing Undertale, um, there was one specific voice I did for the main antagonist of the, the you know, the better and the better path, uh, Flowey and or Azrael. And that voice, when done IRL outside of that character, just has a tendency to unnerve people. I mean, who wouldn't be unnerved by this? <laughs> a lot of people, I, I've actually, people have literally, out of curiosity, have asked me what kind of voice I'm talking about, and right after I do it, they'll just be like, back away slowly. They won't notice that you're just trying to move away from them. I, they're not creeped out at all, no. I mean... I guess these are just two really good examples of what I'm talking about. There are a lot of things I'm betting that people out, like look at me and go, that's not normal. Um, which, I talked about this before, I don't really believe in the term normal. I think everybody's unique and or special in their own ways, depending on the person, depending on how others uh, look at it. But I digress. Um, I guess one of the bigger aspects of this is just that people do look at me and think I'm like really strange, which fine, it's fine, I do too. Except when I think about it, I don't think, like, in a pretty negative way. Most people do. I guess, before I really start looping, because I am noticing I'm starting to do that, I guess if I were to just sum everything up, the kind of, like, how that turns out on me, I don't know. I do have weird attributes, I will say that, but I'd rather take advantage of them than look at them and go, oh, no, no, block them out, block them out, it's the best thing for me, 
Because, I mean, what's that going to do? It's kind of like the... I, I guess how people look at my weirdness. I don't do this. But when most... Not every, but most people... When most people look at my weirdness... And they'll go space it out. Block him out. He'll just walk away if you do. Well, first of all, if somebody does that... One thing they're going to learn very quickly about me is that I'm... I'm too persistent for that to work. Secondly, though... Um, what, what, I, I guess... It, be as it may, a lot of people do... A lot of people do think of me that... At like this, but as I said, be as it may, it's not going to change anything. It's like if you were to think negatively and get angry over something that you can't control. How is getting angry over it going to do anything? How is complaining about my weirdness going to do anything? This is just kind of something that my brain always kind of goes through. And I guess you could call kind of this part of what I'm talking about today a rant, but it's just that. It's just... Sit as it is. I mean, people look at me and think, what the heck? So, what you gonna do? That's, that's really all I can say about that, too. I mean, the amount of weird I have, I'm really happy with, that I have it because it helps me be extremely optimistic but still be realistic at the same time. Yeah, sure, I'm not perfect on that realism front, but... <laughs> better than what I used to be, I'll say that much. But the weird is still there, and it helps benefit, well, what we're doing now. All, uh, 700 plus of you. Or, if you see this in the distant future, it's probably more. But, either way around, yeah, that's, that's the weirdest, that's the weird of the me. Maybe in the future we'll start doing more uh, videos where it's not just me always talking in this chair, because I feel like 90% of the time, if not more, it's me discussing things in this chair. Maybe if um, uh, the channel manager, Amber, uh, or my fiance, uh, if she wants to talk about something on her own and she requests it, I'll, I'd be down for that. I'd be fine with that. Or if you guys have any questions you'd like to ask... Any channel, like any people who are part of this channel, officially, me, um, Amber, uh, or maybe, maybe when time goes on we'll add more. I think Aaron technically can also be considered that, even though he's only been in a couple of videos. He's more, he's, he's more detrimental to the channel than you might think. Uh, there are a couple others I can list, but they also have their... One of them also has their own channel that they run, and the other doesn't... He... he the, the last one just kind of watches my stuff and is just... He, he, supportive. That's really it. Anyway, yeah, if you guys have any questions you'd like to ask any of the members of our Nostalgia Train, just let us know. Uh, we'll be happy to respond when we can. But for the meantime, I am going to leave this here. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. Um, if you liked hearing this kind of thing about, like, this, learning this kind of thing about me, how I seem to be fine with my weirdness, make sure to push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked this, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, as I say, like I say always, we always do one video, one live video like this every day, alongside a nostalgic gaming video. Um, depending on what age or year you start consider considering things nostalgic, you might like it. Uh, like the video later today. That one's definitely considered nostalgic. Regardless, thanks again for watching the video, guys. I'll... Want to check out any other videos like this one? Click the links on the side of my head. One of them will lead you to the playlist that's involved in, like, about me specifically. Or my mindset on things. Or it'll be a discussion and rant. Because this kind of falls under both. Uh, the other side will be YouTube picking something that you might enjoy specifically off of the channel. Uh, if you're not sure you want to check out either of the two on next to my head, why not check the channel out itself? And you might be able to find something there. In the meantime, though, I'm going to head off. Thanks again for watching the video, everyone. I hope to see all of you in another. See you guys later.